Ketosis is a high-risk procedure that used to be the only option for pregnant women to learn about the health of their baby and any genetic abnormalities. Kim Collison is here from Spectrum Health to tell us about a simple blood test that can take the place of this risky procedure. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, now I have to confess, I didn't even know what any of this was, and I was asking around, and oh yeah, of course, that's, you know, but tell us a little bit about what this procedure, this old procedure was, kind of how that went about, and then this new one that sounds way, I said, it just sounds way more comfortable than the old one. Definitely, um, back when I had children, okay. the only option was amniocentesis, which is an invasive procedure that puts the mother and the infant at, a little bit at risk. Okay. This test that we use at Spectrum Health is called the Panorama Prenatal Screen by Natera. It is a test that we simply draw the mother's blood and do the testing on the mother's blood. So there's no big needles going into the mother's belly or anything else. Yeah, that sounds way more, a little prick sounds way better than giant needle. Okay, so tell me when, what's the difference in time-wise when this test would take place? The difference is that unlike amniocentesis, which is done at 15 to 20 weeks gestation, okay. this test can be done at nine weeks. Okay. So we simply draw the mother's blood and then the science is really exciting because it actually, to put it in simple terms, we look for the fetal DNA that's floating around in the mother's blood. Okay, wow. And that's how we do the testing. Wow, okay, so what are some things that this can screen for or look at? This test, um, besides being able to determine gender of the fetus. Okay, and you can do this how early? Nine weeks. Oh my goodness, okay, that's so a lot less waiting. So you can have everything painted and, and the color <laughs> and ready decided. To go. <laughs> um, but the uh, primary testing is for genetic disorders. Okay. Uh, it is um, used to screen for uh, trisomy 21 or Down syndrome, other chromosomal disorders, as well as microdeletion disorders, which are far more common in younger women mm -hmm. than Down syndrome. Hmm. And in fact, the 22Q deletion is found in one out of every 2,000 to 4,000 births in this test for that as well. Okay, now who, um, are there groups of women that would um, maybe be more, benef that would benefit more from this test? Uh, this test is really for every woman that's oh, okay. at least nine, nine weeks pregnant. Okay. Um, it's regardless of age or ethnicity. The only women that it's not recommended for are women that are pregnant with more than one baby okay. or women that are pregnant with a, a donor egg. Okay, okay. Now, um, as far as, okay, so it's just a, a blood draw. What happens after that? After the blood is drawn, uh, it is, um, put through a very scientific method of testing <laughs> where we pull out the fetal DNA okay. from the mother's blood. And what makes this test, the panorama test, very unique compared to all the others on the market is that it measures what's called the fetal fraction or mm -hmm. the amount of fetal DNA in the mother's blood. And if that value is not significant and not high enough, the testing is not performed. Oh, okay. So how long does it take to get results back from this? Generally seven to 14 days, okay. the results will come back. And like all lab tests, the results go to the physician and then the physician will talk to the parents about the, the results. Wonderful. Well, very interesting and very exciting new stuff. Now, if you're interested in learning more about this blood test, you can ask your doctor about it at your prenatal visit. You can learn more on the Spectrum Women's Health website. We put a link on our website. Just go to WZZM13.com. Thanks for watching.